Hi everybody, my name is Jared and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. And today's viewer's question is, why do Masons go to your home for a meeting? What qualifications could be there for joining? What is the meeting like when they come to your house? Well, those are some really good questions, and I can understand why someone, if they feel like, hey, if I ask to join this fraternity, they're going to come into my home, my little private space, and ask me questions. Um, you know, what What is that all about? Well, uh, first off, remember that, that you're asking to join us, uh, so, so we're bound to have some questions for you to find out why you're interested in joining and what kind of a person you generally are. We, we don't just let everybody who says, hey, I want uh, to join, to join. We, we want to find out why, what your intentions are, and make sure that you understand what our purpose is, and, and make sure that, that, the, that it's really a good fit for you, and it's what you actually expect uh, Freemasonry to be. Uh, so uh, let's start with um, why do they come to your home? Well, sometimes it's viewed from us as being a courtesy to you. Uh, you already go to your house. Uh, your house for us is out of the way. Uh, so rather than say to you, you're not even a member of the lodge yet, hey, hey, come meet us here. Uh, that, that that might feel like we're trying to put you out. You know, we're making you have to drive somewhere, take time, go someplace you've never been before. Uh, but if we say, hey, can we come by your house? Uh, well, hey, that's easy for you. You went there after work anyway. You just tell us what time and what day is good and, and we'll show up. Um, the other reasons are, are to put you in that comfortable environment. If we bring you into the lodge room, sometimes that, that puts you in an uncomfortable place. You're, you're in a brand new place. Uh, you know, there's symbolism all around you. There's pictures of all these old past masters on the wall, maybe old matrons of the Eastern Star on the wall, uh, and, and you don't understand what all this is about, and, and you feel, perhaps, some people would, a little intimidated by it all. And so it doesn't put you in that comfortable place to be able to ask questions questions or even to respond to questions. So uh, so that's another reason for it. We want you to be in your own, you know, we, we want to be on your turf. We want, we want it to be someplace that you feel comfortable. The other reason is honestly so that we can learn a little something about you. The very dramatic uh, explanation I've had someone say before is, well if we walk into your house and we see you've got pictures of Satan on the wall, then we know that we don't want you in Freemasonry. <laughs> Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> there's, there's might be something to be said about that as well. Uh, usually, the the way a person keeps their home, what they decide to display on their walls, says something about a man. Uh, and so maybe that's another reason for having that meeting inside of the home. It's also a good opportunity for us to potentially meet your girlfriend or your spouse. Um, Freemasonry does not want to interfere with your home life whatsoever. And so we feel that it's an important thing that your spouse understands that you're uh, interested in becoming a Freemason and seeing whether or not she's okay with that. Does she think that all it's going to do is take all your time away from her and the family uh, and she's never going to see you again or she's uh, concerned about what kind of secrets you're going to be keeping from her. Uh, and so we can kind of try to explain some things to her as well and make sure that your interest in the fraternity doesn't injure your your family life uh, so that's a, that's another reason for it uh, so you ask also what qualifications could there be for joining well that's easily answered by uh, looking on a petition so here in the state of Mississippi and generally everywhere else in the world uh, there are a few very specific questions that are going to be asked on the petition these are the questions that must be answered do you believe in the existence of God do you believe in the immortality of the soul? Do you believe in the resurrection of the body? Uh, and now uh, we also ask you, have you ever been rejected by a Masonic Lodge? Um, and that doesn't automatically disqualify you, but, but we need to know those things. And it sort of speaks to your honesty, uh, if you're honest about it. Uh, and then uh, we also ask uh, on the petition whether or not you've ever been convicted of a felony. Uh, that's just something we need to know if uh, that has been a problem for you in the past uh, in making a decision on whether or not uh, you're a good fit for the fraternity and 
Uh, there's a lot of debate and question to be asked about that particular question. Uh, but those are the questions that are going to be asked you. Uh, and they're going to ask you, uh, well, those are the qualifications, uh, so to speak. You, you've got to be able to answer those questions. Um, but qualifications, other than uh, here in the state of Mississippi, not being a felon, um, answering those other questions satisfactorily, um, and being over the age of 18, and having lived inside of the state of Mississippi for at least one year, uh, those are the things that are going to be qualifications, the things that prerequisites that you have to have in place before we can even accept your petition. Um, nothing else applies. Are you currently employed? Are you going to school? What is your employment? How far up the chain are you at work? You know, how much money is in your bank account? None of that matters. None of those uh, have any bearing on whether or not you can become a Freemason. So, I uh, so so don't worry about those things. Uh, and what is the meeting like uh, when when they come to your house? I think most of the time we try to keep it. You know, we 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 want to be in and out as quickly as possible. We're not trying to intrude on your normal routine. Uh, we we got to ask those certain questions. We want to make sure we answer your questions. Generally speaking, though. Once all that's out of the way, everybody just starts uh, talking back and forth, and it just becomes a conversation, and everybody's just more or less hanging out and talking back and forth. So uh, I have seen uh, interrogations or interviews uh, last for an hour or better because everybody just gets to talking, and at some point somebody says, you know, hey, this has been a lot of fun. It was really good to meet you, but I've got to go. Um, but sometimes it's just 15 minutes and everybody got their questions answered and they're out the door. Uh, so it's just a simple matter of that. Um, I wouldn't be opposed if, if somebody were to say to me, um, you know, hey, it'd be great uh, if you guys came over on Friday at 5 o'clock. But look, I, uh, I really got something else I got to do at 530. Is that enough time to be able to talk to you? So, so in a way you've already told me what the timeline is. I can come at five, but you're only willing for me to stick around for a half an hour. That's fine. I can work with that. Uh, and in a way, it's you being upfront and honest, which is something that we look for in Freemasonry. Uh, so maybe that would be something that you could explore as well if you don't like having guests at your house for a very long time. Well, I hope that answers some of your questions. Uh, if you have any others about this topic, please leave them down in the comment section below. If it happens any differently in your jurisdictions, then leave those comments too. I'm sure that it does. I would not be surprised to learn that in some jurisdictions, uh, the interview has to take place in your home. Maybe in other jurisdictions, it has to take place inside of the lodge room. So it'd be interesting to see how it's done differently throughout the rest of the world. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.